what, do I even need these again? I don't know if I do. Uh, hello, Facebook. Are we here? <laughs> <laughs> hello, Facebook. Facebook. My old friend. My old friend. <laughs> Facebook. Recurring. And on with the show, on with the show, and on with the show. This is it. What is up? It's Real Town with What's up, Don Doc? Tracy. Hi. What's up, Doc? It's happening. Right? Did get it? Hello. Yeah. <laughs> boy, I say boy. Boy. <laughs> Man, I miss the old Looney Tunes. Ooh, I do, too. And if you throw that down there one more time, I ain't going to go after it. There's some, and you know what's funny is like I think Bugs Bunny was like the first like transgender like character. Because <laughs> remember Bugs Bunny oh, he used to dress like, up a like a woman, woman. Oh, all yeah. the time. Oh, he enjoyed it too. And, he was oh, like, yeah. he was, like, like goof on people. Oh and, yeah. He, I, I used to love the one where he would dress up like Carmen Miranda. Yeah, <laughs> Carmen <laughs> Miranda. And it was awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I guess baby's I just it. gonna have to have a ham sandwich instead. <laughs> remember the, the barber of Seville. <laughs> Spirit magic helmet. <laughs> Spirit magic helmet. <laughs> North winds blow. South winds blow. Thunder. White wing. Smog. <laughs> Spirit magic helmet. <laughs> I love it. Oh, Elmer. Oh. Oh. I think, are, where are the Looney Tunes? Like, what theme park are they supposed to be at? Are they supposed to be at, like, Great Adventure? No, that's they not. They used to be, weren't they? They used to be. Yeah. They left. What? Now they have... I'm trying to remember now. It's Great Adventure now. They have like new people. Well, new like the Animaniacs? Or something? Yeah, they have something different now. Animani. Dana Delaney. Well, wait a second. When I went like two years ago, I got a picture with like Petunia Pig. Well, that's so that kinda, Yeah, but last year, I don't remember seeing any of them last uh -oh. year. Have they have they I'm severed to think. Ties or this year I should say with the Six Flags universe? I don't know. That's a that's a question. That's a that's a that's a question we need to ask because what's the I don't. Well, think... let's ask. Who knows? Oh, you wait, know what's have... going on? I don't know. We're taking calls. 609 807 It's kind of a kind of a free for all here tonight. Again, it's Tracy. It's John and our special guest star. Oh. oh, no special appearance oh. this week. He had to work. He had to They're work. They're at the Amazon. He works hard you know. for his money. He, he works hard for it, honey. I'm telling you. He works so hard. I think since we're talking about animation, this is the perfect time yes. to talk about Mr. Stan Lee. Stan Lee. I'm yeah. so sad. I'm sad because you know how many times I had the opportunity to meet him and, you know, it's you have to pay and then, you know, you go to Comic-Con you have to wait in line. And I was always like the last time he was where I was in the same place, I was like... Oh, it's sold out. And I'm like, oh, it's sold out. And I was like, ugh. Oh. I said, next time. There won't be a next no time. No next time. No next time. And um, I didn't realize, A, he was 95. 95, And man. then, two, with, with all of that, because I didn't realize he was 95, all the things that he had done. Oh, my God. All the God. characters that he had drawn, Insanity. created, and so forth. I mean, I'm trying to remember, was, did, was, wasn't he involved in, like, like the... Some of the comic strips in the papers, yes, like Beetle Bailey and them years. That was ago? like way, way back in the day. Like he started out in in doing comic strips, like right. a, in the paper. I mean, it was not a, you know, all that came later. I actually saw, and I'm trying to remember because I saw uh, a, a documentary about uh, Marvel because now it's like basically it's it's always been there. Let's right. get this. Like a lot of people are like, oh, it took off. This you know, blah blah blah. It's always no, been there. I can remember like 45 years ago sure. being, being comic books. I was I was into comic books a little. I was probably about 
10, 11, 12, and then I, no. And then I just went off to other things. Yeah, it's always been there. It's just yeah, that I the resurgence, Marvel. it basically has a resurgence. Well, of, the superhero, you know, you know mm. movies and specials and things on TV and, you know, pay, uh, not pay-per-view, but like on Netflix and, right. and all of that, you know, Amazon Fire Stick and whatnot. There's not, you, there's not anything you can't see, you know, with... Um, with superheroes, I mean, even going back now, this I don't believe was part of his little empire, but like you know, even growing up, you know, the Super Friends on TV. Meanwhile, back at the Hall of Justice, you know, I mean, it was he always had Spider Man. I remember the Spider Man. You remember the Spider Man cartoons? Of course I do. Oh, I love that. That was on Saturdays. Yeah, we had. I love I the Spider Man cartoons. It was I think like on either Channel Five or Channel Eleven, and they were on uh, when I was growing up in the afternoon sometime. You know, you had the Popeye cartoons. You had Wonderama on Channel 5 with Bob McAllister. I wanted to go on that show. Almost did. Mom said no. Um, they taped on a Tuesday. That's a school day. And then you all had, and you had Spider-Man. You had all those cartoons. They were so cool. Batman, like the, like the dark-ish Batman animated series. I don't know if that was, was that DC or Marvel? Uh, which one was it? The Batman. Batman is animated. DC. Yeah. DC. That's DC. Marvel... Is Iron Man, right. Spider Man, Wonder Woman. Um, there's so many. I can't even think. Um, I enjoyed them all. Those those early Deadpool, which cartoons. is popular now. That's Marvel. The animated, I but yeah, there's cartoons. DC and Marvel. Those are the two. Yeah. You know, the two big ones, and they combine a lot, like in film and stuff like that. So, um, oh, uh, Stan Lee also did all the uh, X Men. That's right. all him as well. Right, right, right. Um, there's so many. My God, and you know, he did a cameo in all of the films. He did a cameo, and I actually posted it on my Facebook. What up, Hitchcock? Um, and. <laughs> It, they did a, uh, a medley or medley, a ma uh, montage. montage. Um, medley would be audio, but montage of <laughs> of all of Stanley's uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, all of Stanley's appearances in oh. each film and wow. all the pl different things he played. And um, yeah, it was it was uh, you know I, it just he he was responsible for a lot of influence in my life as a child and a teenager. And even like the Spider-Man films, the ones with Tobey Maguire, right. not the later ones with right. Andrew Garfield and that other English Alfred kid. Molina was that heinous evil Yes! Uh, yes! He was great, though. Yes! Ooh. I loved him in that. It freaked me out, yeah, man. Like, I did Oh, he's a good dude. Oh, my gosh, he's not. I love that. <laughs> I love that film. Like, those films were, were my favorites. I actually still own them on DVD. Nice. Believe it or not, I still have DVDs. Um, so I still have that, but it's, it's a, it's a big loss, but you know what? It's, he lived a very full life. 95 is a, is a you know, he lived a very full life. He contributed substantially and his legacy will live on forever. Agreed. Yep. And his daughter actually said, uh, two things. One, he did one last cameo in the new Avengers movie. Nice. Um, and you will see him in it. That was his last thing he did. Um, and then he, he was working with his daughter on a brand new superhero oh. called Dirt Man. Ooh. And she wouldn't give any other, you know, but she said it was actually her idea. She went to her father and her and her father had been working on it right up to like, you know, the day before he died. So wow. um, that's exciting, too. So it's just uh, it's Stanley and it's uh, rest in peace, Mr. Stanley. Thank you for influencing our childhoods and teen years and you know, adult and, and years. And who, you know, who knew as a kid? I mean, you just you see these things on TV or you read them, you know, we're in comic books or on the comic strips, you know. And again, I can remember. I'm, tell me if I'm wrong, but I, I, I seem to remember again, like the Beetle Bailey comic strips. Yep. yep. And seeing at the very, it was always the last, the last one because there's a series of comic squares to make the strip. And at the last one, it was always Stan Lee. Yeah. Like, oh wow, cool. I mean, who the heck is Stan? I'm, I'm nine. Who the heck is Stan Lee? Yeah. Uh, but every every Sunday, you know, we had to get the funnies out of the the, the color funnies out of the paper you know and that was that was a thing i mean he I had a partner like back in the day he had like a partner right. and i can't remember his name that was part of the documentary too and then they they separated and i i you know what i gotta watch it again so i can refresh my memory but um yeah i mean they were doing cartoons and, and drawings and sketches and animation back in the uh, 40s and 50s right. i mean you know this is Hey, it's been around a long time. Well, it's like man. all those guys, even over at Warner Brothers. You know the, uh, the oh yeah, the, uh, again Chuck Jones and uh, Frizz mm. Freeling and Mel yeah. Blank with the with the voices and oh, stuff. Oh, Mel Blank, yeah. That going on all those years, and I mean, okay, I can certainly identify with the voices, right? But you know, I I can't draw to save my life. I no, mean, no, neither my, can I. 
I'm going to stick people. Oh, and I'm a very ar- artistic person. Like, that's what I say. You know, I'm art, art, I sing, dance, acting, all that stuff. I could never yep. draw. Like, that was not part of that artistic part of me. I, I don't know how to paint. I don't know how to draw. You know, they have those classes now. Like, you go with a group of people and you bring wine. I don't know if you've seen these. They're like mm-hmm. painting classes. So you go and you all paint together and then you laugh and you drink wine. So it's actually pretty funny. There's a picture. We all went, me and my friends, we went to, you know, do this painting thing. Um, and we hold up the paintings at the end of the class. They take a picture. Right. My painting is so gross and like <laughs> make, it, it's like you don't understand you see everybody else's it's like a really nice it was all it was was like an ocean Ooh. and like uh you know trees and yeah, you know yeah. beach i don't know whatever it was <laughs> but but theirs was like it looks so beautiful there is like waves and there's like palm trees mine looked like blue blob <laughs> with green <laughs> blob on top it looked like nothing <laughs> i gotta i gotta post that picture on our, our facebook because oh, no. it it in, it was the worst picture, and I'm holding it up with this big smile on my face. <laughs> and I look back and I go, what "My picture's stupid. What is it? <laughs> it's not ba- Who painted that crap? It was so horrible." And I ended up tossing it in the garbage, like because you know most people wow. like they keep it. And they're like, <laughs> "Look what I painted now, oh, not me." Because no. I, I I literally have the paintbrush. It's like holding like. It's like holding a fork in the left hand. Right. Uh, and I'm not left-handed. <laughs> That's what it's like. <laughs> That's what it was like. Meanwhile, I, I got a, I, I had a friend of mine growing up, and uh, he uh, he drew like it like it was he could do it in his sleep. He came out to visit me. Oh boy, we were growing up. We were in our mid mid twenties, and uh, I was out out in Williamsport, Pennsylvania, and he's like, "Hey, I'm coming out to visit. I need this." I he's, he had been in Florida. He still is in Florida. He said, I missed the four seasons. I'm coming out. And it was like the beginning of October in north central Pennsylvania. And uh, he loved it. We drove all around up in the mountains and the whole bit and foliage and what. He says, take me someplace to eat. And I don't want to go to like, you know, the the national chain restaurant or the pancake joint or whatever, Perkins. That's fine and good, but I can do that in Florida. Take me someplace local. I said, I've got just the place place used to be called the Red Rooster Omelette House up on like Homing Creek Road, the old Route 15, just north of Williamsport in Cogan Station, Pennsylvania. And the guy ran it, him and his wife ran it, and it was just a local joint, you know, and you could get breakfast and lunch there. And uh, there was a there was a tavern across the street. Now, back then, this and it's now old Route 15, but it was Route 15, the major north-south artery from New York down to Maryland. Okay, mm-hmm. and it was four lanes in a middle turn lane, so not real conducive for pedestrian pedestrian traffic. But this old guy, his name was Mickey. That's all I knew. He would come He's doddering. So fine. He he blew his, blew our mind. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, he would go to the Crippled Bear Inn across the street after he had his lunch. I sound like Ralph Winter to. After he had, had his, his lunch, lunch. <laughs> <laughs> we should have him call in one day. I really, I, I miss would his love voice. to interact with all of you <laughs> telephonically. We should have had him call on our Veterans Day because he is a veteran as True well. Enough. It would have been, but we had so many people on the line, it would have been like you know it chaotic. But. So here's here's Mickey, yeah. and I don't know Mickey from that lamp, okay? But he's a character. He was probably in his late 70s early 80s at this point it's early october he's got a snorkel coat on he's got the busby birdwell horn rim glasses and he's having he's having lunch and he's flirting with the waitresses and i'm talking to my friend and i'm talking to my friend and, I'm, and he gives me the shh hold on don't say anything i'm concentrating i'm like you concentrate just shh, quiet down a second give me a minute fine mm. and he's studying i mean he's from he's about 15 20 feet away and he's studying them. And for about two, three minutes, he's just riveted on this older gentleman named Mickey. And all of a sudden, okay, so what are we having to eat? And then pfft, off we went. He goes back to Florida. About a month later, I get in the mail a tube about yay so long. And I still have the picture. He went back down to Florida, recounted what he had been looking at and studying of this old guy with a pencil, mind you, Drew this old guy, Mickey, to a T. Crow's feet, wrinkles, little bumps on his face, the wrinkles in his shirt and his coat, the gla- everything. I damn near had to put my finger under the nose to see if he was breathing. And it looks, and he did it from memory. 
I can't draw myself uh, out of a paper bag. No. And this guy's like, you, dee, dee, dee. you know what I mean? I don't know how people do that. Oh, they just. Remember that guy who used to paint with the afro? Bob Ross. Strokes. Happy Little Trees. Happy Little Trees. Yeah, yeah that Ross. guy. Used to love watching Bob Ross because he'd have a piece of canvas and like eight minutes later it was like the Ponderosa out in like Tahoe. Like, I'd watch Ow. him and go, I don't know, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> 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 and I never will. It'll never happen. My father turned me on to him. My father threw his back out one time. I was about 14 years old. We went bowling on Sunday. And Monday, he goes to pick the newspaper up and goink, he was in bed for a week. Okay. Oh. So I come home from school you know, before before mother got home and uh i'd be like hey dad what are you watching Shh, hey come in here he was in bed sitting up a little bit goes, look at this guy his he just goes back and forth with the brush and all of a sudden he's got a landscape he's got a forest <laughs> and I, I was fascinated man yeah. I mean, but and he's i think bob ross is no longer with us either no i don't think so yeah. but you know who used to uh, i imitate him really well was uh, will farrell from saturday night live right? he used to do a really good impression of him Happy very Andrews. very good Happy trees. Happy little trees. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to draw. I don't know. I don't know how to draw. I don't know. How to, I, don't, I don't know how to color. But I don't know. But those guys in, from, from oh. the old cartoons and comic books, legendary. And yeah. then, like you say, they're all they're all either gone. Mel Blanc's been gone. Gee, yeah, for a while. Well, 20, 20, oh, yeah. almost thirty years. Yeah. Um, you know, and Noel Blank, he filled in for him for a while. Did a darn fine job. His son. But then it's like that's ah, enough. You know, he just. No more. Either oh, I didn't know. Him. I didn't know that Noel left. I mean, I knew. I remember him taking his place, but I didn't yeah. know that he was like gone. No, he's he's around. He's oh. he's not. He hasn't passed. But it's just. No, I mean, he stopped doing the just, voices. Well, oh. yeah. I mean, because oh. there were other things came on, uh, came around, and he just that's oh, enough, you know. And then there were new things, different things that came around. You know, Pinky and the Brain, like on, on the Pinky WB the network. Oh, my. You know, yeah, brain, I remember brain, that. Brain, 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 Pinky and the Brain. Yeah. Oh. One is a hero and the other is insane. Oh. Um, you know, and there's all those guys have either retired or have died. And it's, you know, the good news is, is all those comics are still available. All the cartoons and animated features are still accessible on video. And with all the remastering, you know, they look like they're brand oh. new. Now you can stream everything anyway. I love it. <clears throat> I like that. You don't need to like watch it on DVD. You just stream it. Everything's That's streamable. All. It's it's pretty amazing. I keep thinking like I see a f like a there's like like all these fruit flies at my work. But I don't know where they come from. <laughs> the fruit. And no, listen, these are like the most aggressive fruit flies. No, they're like they're really aggressive. They're tiny and little, and you'd be like, oh, you know, they're just little fruit flies. I don't know. I mean, I, I've been there like three months, and they've been like there like the whole time, and oh. I, I don't understand where they're coming from. And they like hit you in the face. Oh. They like fly in your forehead. They fly in, and I'm I constantly <laughs> clapping. To